Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Designs. I am back with day 17 of our Winter Bible, there we go, Journaling Camp 2020. Um, we are in the last week, um, only housekeeping I want to say is have you started working on your scripture memorization of 1 Corinthians 13, the chapter. So, um, and if you haven't, that's okay. There's plenty of time still. And even after the camp, you can keep working on it. So, all right, let's pray and we'll get started. Dear Lord, we just bow before you right now. We just praise your name. Thank you so much for this camp and this time to come together. Lord, I pray that you would bless the campers, those who come and watch the videos later. And Lord, also I pray for... Uh, campers that may be using their own supplies at home and working along with us. Um, Lord, we'd also like to praise your name for all the people who donated to this camp. By the Well for God, um, Alley Scraps, and then we have some anonymous anonymous donors. Lord, I pray that you would bless them. Jesus, we give you this time. We thank you so, so much for this time to come together. In your son's name I pray. Amen. Okay. Um, it is freezing in our house right now. <laughs> <laughs> we have warmer weather, and my husband turned the AC on, and it's cold. So, the scripture you're going to need today is Proverbs 19.8, and it goes like this. He who gets wisdom loves his own soul. He who keeps understanding will find good. Proverbs 19.8. So, that's kind of a little bit confusing. So, he who gets wisdom loves his own soul. He who keeps understanding will find good. And I think that we have to remember that Solomon wrote, you know, Proverbs, and um, he talks a lot about wisdom. So I think the first thing I think of when I read that scripture, and I may be wrong, so you guys feel free to chime in, but he who gets wisdom loves his own soul. So do we seek out wisdom? Do we seek to be with wise friends? Do we seek to listen to wise people? And by wise people, I mean godly Christians, those that have led a very um, fruitful, fruitful life for the Lord, those who um, don't rely upon the whims of the day, but that, you know, really focus on what is important, and that is the things of God. And so those are the people that we think of. And he who keeps understanding will find good. So, the more that we seek wisdom, the more we understand, and the more we understand, we will find what is good and what is not good. And so, we think about, and I mean, the opposite is when you find good, you find also what's not good. So, the things that I did when I was younger, even as a new Christian, maybe I wouldn't do those today because of where I'm at in my walk. I'm not saying it was anything bad or horrible, but maybe it was just not as good. So, I think about that and where I'm at now, and what can I do moving forward? Well, I can seek to be pleasing to God. I can seek to encourage others. Um, it's a funny thing. My husband was telling me that he interviewed a young man on Friday. He didn't want to do the interview. It didn't apply to his area, but he ended up doing the, the interview. And um, he talked about what happened in the interview. My, my husband will hire... Um, he used to go to certain college campuses and hire for his company um, just as an after-hours um, donation of time, so to speak. And um, so, as a result, you know, he enjoys talking to college kids. Our children are college age, so of course he enjoys it. And um, he was interviewing with this young man, and he was giving him, like, encouragement of things to focus on, things to do in his next steps, all of that. And the young man wrote him a thank you note, and he was reading it to me over the weekend. And I realized, you know, again, we have an opportunity to encourage, or we have an opportunity, I mean, honestly, we could be discouraging. So what is it that we want to do? We want to encourage those with the wisdom of God. Even if they're not Christians, I have found that so many young people have come to me and talked to me about things, and I, and I will commit to pray for them. And then, you know, I run back into him later saying, I couldn't wait for you to get here because I just wanted to tell you, God answered your prayers. And the thing is, I mean, that happens so many times and I'm always saying, but you can pray just like me. There's nothing special about me, just that I happen to pray for you. 
So, you can pray now. As much as I can talk to God, you can talk to God. So, there's wisdom that we get over time, no doubt. And wisdom that is from the Lord, clearly. So, where are you in your journey? What are you doing? And he who gets wisdom loves his own soul. And I think that we have to take care of what God has given us. Our lives, our, our body, our soul, all of that. So be thinking on that. What are you doing to nourish your soul? What are you doing to nourish yourself? And, um, you know, there's an old saying, garbage in, garbage out. What are we doing? I know, I'm just saying. Okay. All right. So just to talk about what I did in my own journal is I took one of the tags. These are from Illustrated Faith. I found those. I got some of the beautiful eyelash um, yarn from our fellow camper. And I'm going to journal on the back of this. I also took one of the hearts and I I taped it and glued it so it'll fit right in there. And it's still a little bit wet, so I'm not going to stick it in yet. But, and then I put a little gelato behind, nothing major. And I took some of the sequins from our beautiful um, bag from our, our fellow um, camper. And I put some sequins down. Now, just a thought, and I'm not saying you have to do this, but sometimes... The idea in crafting and in um, design is in sets of three. So I did one, two, three, one, two, three. That's just what I did. You can do it whatever you want. You can take the sequence and do the whole page. I think it would be wonderful. So there's that. I also put together this little butterfly that also came in our kit from our um, camper. And I will show you how to do this. It is super easy peasy. And you guys probably already know how to do it. But we will do that in the next the next part. Okay, so I hope you guys are enjoying these amazing bags of goodies from our friend. I am loving them. Oh my goodness gracious. I, I absolutely so appreciate everything. So, all right, let's go back here. Now, remember I said we were going to use this part that was, you know, we had folded to create a sec, you know, Ford parts. So we're going to go back here today. All right, and by the way, are you sharing all of your pictures? Hashtag WBJC2020. We would love to see them. I know that some of you really are, and it is amazing. Thank you. Now, I have a bit of a dilemma in that I had to go with the smaller heart. I didn't have to, but I wanted to. So, here's what I was thinking. So, I have this, this right here, and I think it's Darling. So what I'm going to do is first put first put my eyelash trim on. There we go. Blah, blah, blah. Do you ever get tongue tied? Oh my goodness! And I left my water in the other room. I'm reheating my lunch. I did some bulk cooking yesterday, and so I'm having for lunch asparagus with baby carrots and garlic and onions and oh my goodness, does it make the house smell wonderful? And um, and I just had some homemade. I also made up a batch of what I call my either no or few point cookies that is just oatmeal, bananas, I did put egg in mine, a little Mexican vanilla, stevia, monk fruit combination for sweet, and then a little bit of cinnamon. And then I added some of the Lily's um, chocolate chips. Oh, so good. So anyways, yes, I'm enjoying all of that. But I had that kind of kind of brunchy sort of thing. I woke up, I didn't want really breakfast, but I wanted something. So, all right, so let's stick with one thing at a time. I'm kind of jumping around here. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to put down my heart. You know what? Maybe I'll do it like this. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put my heart down up here. I'm just going to do it all different. I know. <laughs> Even different than I planned. <laughs> so... <laughs> Who says I'm going to do it like everything else? Okay. Wait a minute. Let me grab some of my washi from my kit. Oh, ooh, and I've got some love, love, love. So let's use that. Oh, I could use that. Yeah. Let's use that. Let's, let's get really wild. I love this. It's so pretty. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So, anyways, and so I did all this bulk cooking yesterday. And oh, my goodness. It has been fantastic. I made a lunch for my husband and my youngest daughter. Had It was just so nice to say, 
Oh, you have lunch ready. Oh, you have breakfast ready. Oh, 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 it was such a blessing. And my daughter was like, thank you so much for putting this in a bowl. And because all I had to do was add hot water this morning. So, and I make theirs with all kinds of dried fruit and um, nuts and seeds and all kinds of good stuff. So, uh, mine's a little bit more plain because I don't want to count it. <laughs> all right, so that is done. I have my love and I have my heart down. Easy peasy. Now, I think what I'm going to do, let me put that away before I lose it. I do like these, but I think I'm not going to use these. Now, I could have easily, you know what, let me lift that up. I can do that. Let's just put these down. So remember, this is supposed to be permanent tape, but yeah, it can be pulled up for a short season. This is the scotch. I like it. I mean, I like this tape. I special, I order it off of Amazon and I just have it shipped. I really like it. So, and you can even double it if you want it. You can put two down and then put your heart over, but I'm just going to go with one. All right, so here we go. And I like that because it just gives contrast. Now, um, my scripture I want to go with next. And I kind of have a different idea. So, I could go sideways, I could go all different kinds of ways, but I'll show you what I'm thinking. Okay, and I'm just kind of cutting around it. Nothing special. You know, I'm not using anything special, just scissors. Just keeping it simple. And even though this is for both days, but because we have to lay it open, I'm going to just go right across. And you know what? Sometimes that's fun to do. You know, just doing it different. I didn't plan that before we got started, but that's what I'm going to do. Now, I can journal here. I can journal here. Okay, and now I want to show you. Sorry, the TV's on in the other room. Just so, you know, you know the whole thing about the house making noises. Yeah, and you guys, have, I've, I've done videos with y'all when a door's closed because of the 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 wind or whatever. So, I just kind of keep that on. I hope you guys don't mind. I think it's Petticoat Junction. <laughs> so, which I haven't seen in ages, but the song is good. <laughs> so, alright. Now, easy peasy. Uh, the reason I put tape is because I'm going to put glue on the outsides. And the reason why is, is that the tape will adhere immediately. The glue will be the permanent hold later. And I, I think glue is invaluable on these projects. I really do. So now I'm just going to lay this down. And I'm going to put glue all around that paper clip. Okay. And <clears throat> I just want a really good seal. So I have tape on both of my butterflies. I've put down my glue. And now I'm just going to match it. And I found it easiest just to match the bottom. Because that's where all the little cuts are. And then I just press down. And voila, we have a paper clip. How cute. And even if it's off like that ever so, it kind of gives it a neat little look like, you know, like I planned it. I didn't plan it. You guys are with me. <laughs> so I think this is a super cute day. We've used a lot of different colors, which I'm totally fine with. And it's just been, you know, fun. And I think that's what sometimes we need. We need just some pretty... Um, pretty colors. Now, I'm also going to put down a little bit, and I still have glue on the edge of that. Ugh. I try to use these little fancy tools. It's just not wanting to work with the other. So, I think I'm going to come up here. You can even put them on your butterfly. You can put them wherever you like. And it just takes a little dab of glue. It doesn't take a lot. And I'm going to put this down here because because and then I love this this uh, gold or this kind of um, bronze kind of color I think which is the color up here if I can get it to say up here so yeah but our friend who made these kits it has been such a blessing there has been such a beautiful variety and it's funny because some of the things that she chose, I was looking at, but didn't put in the kit. So I think this is just God's amazing, amazing 
you know, working together how all things work. So it's such a blessing. All right. Now, and I'm just using my art glitter glue. Nothing fancy. Just art glitter glue. So, all right. That's it. Now, you can do more. You can do less. You can do whatever you would enjoy. Um, it is your journal. You make it to encourage you. Please, 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 please. And, you know, main thing is, this is your, um, your journal to God. So, you know, see it as an opportunity to write him the letters that you're always wanting to, you know, things you want to discuss with him, things you want to praise him for. What an opportunity to record where you are at in your walk. So, here we go. This is the smaller version. So, and I've got more glitter there. I don't know how I'm getting all this. But anyways, all right, friends, this is it. I hope you guys have enjoyed today. Um, it was a very unique scripture, no doubt. But I think there's a lot to be said for it. So, anyways, all right, friends, let's pray and I'm going to let you go. Dear Lord, we praise you. We thank you for this day. We thank you for oh, the wisdom that you have there waiting for us if we just seek it out in your name. And then we take that wisdom and we bless others. We encourage others. What an opportunity to love those around us. Just like this whole camp has been about love, Lord. Now, not only do we love you, but we get an opportunity to seek you, seek those who serve you and love you, and learn from them and then carry it forward. Lord, thank you so much for all that you're doing here. Thank you so much for everyone in the camp. And Lord, we just praise your name. In Jesus' precious name I pray. Amen. Okay, friends. So, come on back tomorrow. It'll be the 17th. And I want to encourage you guys. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on. I had this little piece of paper out. At one point, what did I do with it? The one that has all the little bitty cutouts. Yes. Please, come back tomorrow and have all of these boxes cut out. Um, it's up to you if you want to use all the bits and pieces. You sure can. Just feel free to cut them out. But this is where we're going to fussy cut a little. All I'm asking you to do is to do the boxes. And that's it. So, and that will be for tomorrow's camp. Okay, friends, most importantly, I pray your day is blessed, creative, and lovely. Keep serving Jesus well. He loves you very, very, very much. All right, friends. I'll be talking to you later. Whoops. Sorry, my plug came unplugged. That's interesting. Oh, well. Love you guys. See you then. Bye-bye.